Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Saturday, the 22nd of April, 2021. Here's your card of the day. So we're using Angel Tarot cards by Radley Valentine, images by Steve Roberts. Here we go. Great Father in the Sky, Loving Mother of the Earth, Angels, Ancestors, Light Beings of all four corners and all realms. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to bring this message to all recipients. May the message be clear, loving, kind, inspiring, and allow the words of spirit to heal. So be it, and so shall it be. Ten of water. Hmm. Oh, let's put it down there so you can see. It. Along with our Archangel of the Week, I like this. Oh, I like this image. Look at this. Now, water is emotional. Goes along with cups if you're a traditionalist. And I like how the Little Mermaid. Let me pull this up to the camera a bit closer. Is playfully rising above the waves. And while it might seem on the surface that things are oh, topsy-turvy, look at those waves, it's crazy. But this young little mermaid child, along with the sibling, right down below you can see. And then the guardians, is just in this playful mood, being playful. Look at all these cups. There's nothing you can't do today. So the So the energy, again, is a contented and rewarding type of family. Look at your emotional well-being, but make it more of the same. Everything you need, everything you want is being met. And I believe at this time you could be in the mood or the mode or the channel if you will of forging some pretty trustworthy relationships that's what this energy feels like today with this ten of water card when we look at the world and archangel michael it's basically letting us know that or he's letting us know that you're always protected you not only have your physical family around you and the family you've chosen, you've also got your spiritual family, your guardian angels. And let's not discount the ascended ones who have passed into spirit. They completed their journey as who they were in this lifetime. And they get to celebrate all the accomplishments, all the achievements, not only from the lifetime that they lived so well but also through the actions that we ourselves are still in human form still having those experiences are facing working and working through i'm not discounting the fact that life at the moment as we live it as we breathe it as we experience it is not challenging what this is saying is the Ten of Water is all about contentment. Maybe you should get a journal and write on a page. Oh, and I've got goosebumps, so I know this is a good one. What makes you feel contented? How are you contented? And if you're confused, which sometimes when I'm asked these challenging questions... I get like, well, what exactly does that mean? Content, happy, complacent is not content, complacent is bored, um, satisfied. That would be a good way to say complete, contented. What causes you to feel content? Is it the people around you? Are you a source of their contentment? I think bringing focus to 
the things, the places, the situations, the stories, and all of those things that we uh, sometimes take for granted, sometimes don't really pay attention to, that's what the the energy could possibly be. Now, this is always also a card and an energy to look toward your um, regular family life. Now, there are many out there that live alone, as I do. Although I don't feel lonely, I've got now seven dogs, which bring me joy, which also bring me Oh my goodness, I've got to bring that. Well, I don't think my vacuum or my broom or any of my cleaning products ever go back in the cupboard because they're always out. Your relationships that you've got that you're forging, look at where they are strong. Look at where they are trustworthy and look at where you are not only blessing them, but they're blessing you at the same time. Know that if Archangel Michael is here, Look, he's got the balance, the subconscious and the conscious. He's got above, so below, so within, so without. And all of the elements, earth, air, fire, water, that is supporting you, protecting you, always around you, always bringing you to that new level of purpose. And if I'm looking at the 21, which is the world, and the 10 of water, this is basically saying you have done your due diligence and you've done the work to create the contented, trustworthy, uh, soulful, blessed families that you're with, whether they are blood relatives or chosen family. This is... I'm also being told to let you know where you fit. Because sometimes many of us who follow a spiritual past, path, uh, sometimes feel like we don't fit in. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. I felt like that for a long time. I felt like that most of my life. You know, what is this openly gay boy doing in a little village on the south coast of England when nobody else is the same way? And how come nobody else is the same way? What is up with that? And then I kind of got on with, oh, here comes my family. Helps that I <laughs> was in my 20s during the 80s, so <laughs> that was a bit of a help. Thank you, boy George and others. Um, you know, additional meanings of this card is looking at your happy marriage, looking at positive relationships, looking at children, whether you're starting a family or you know people that are. Looking at security and also taking care of those family members, both um, spiritual family, chosen family and the ones that you're with. I think this card today with Archangel Michael's influence is about accepting and being more accepting. If this is in a way counter uh, uh, productive, intuitive, whatever that word I'm against, pushing against what society is trying to set up, culture is trying to set up. There is this turmoil going on, if you follow the news, which I tend to do out here on the fringes. You know, I, I've got to say something real quick and then I'll let you go. I've been challenged, not argued but challenged i like to look at awkward conversations as challenges not problems and i like to look at solutions so if somebody has an opinion pretty strong there's something in the opinion something in the argument something in the push that they want me to hear see feel know i don't have to take it on this is where we get into trouble people i don't have to take on what they're thinking, feeling and believing. But there is something in there that I can glean from. And I loved looking at things in a curious way. Why would a person say something like that? And sometimes I do. Tell me what you want me to know about that or tell me what you'd like me to think about that. Tell me what you'd like me to feel about that. That's what I sometimes ask of myself. What does my higher self want to know about this? 
What does my higher self want to tell me about this? And how does my higher self feel about this? And usually that stops whatever it is in, the, in its traps. But we're living in this, in this world where, you know, what we see, what we are witness to globally, I'm not just talking about United States, Europe, Australia, Asia, um, all the places across the world. <laughs> Our spiritual family our vibrational level, I like to think, seems weird to say it, but it's rising up and I'm now covered in these little angel bumps. More and more people have been forging non-denominational type of churches, of places of worship, gathering together. It's all a big thing called a community. Oh, look at that. Look at how many folks that we know and that we are witness to, that have decided to change something radical, important. The spiritual uh, belief system, they're changing it. Many who found solace and transformation out of yoga adopted some Buddhist ways of believing and thinking, some Hindu ways of believing and thinking. And studying those grand masters that, that ascended. They came. They're called masters because they came to master a purpose to help lead the spiritual people forward. No matter what that could be. In our modern times, it might have been Gandhi or Dr. King or others like them. And then we find these iconic individuals that are influencers. Not the kind that... <laughs> we've been seeing lately, although there's a place in the world for them. There is. I don't want to mock or judge, but there is. The point I'm making is somewhere in your world today, there is a community, there is a family, there is a nurturing, there is a, a love, and that's in a way, way on the opposite side of fear. So when you do come across someone who perhaps challenges Maybe you've joined a new spiritual community or you're about to be introduced to one. And if that's happening for you today, if your ears, eyes, mind, thoughts, feelings, heart is lifted and open and you feel that, whoa, joy, joy, joy from the top of your head down to your toes. Oh, this is what you should follow. This is really what we're all about. Then you know Archangel Michael is saying, come along. I want to take you. Let's go. And I think that's my little message of the day. Listen, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for lifting these subscriptions up higher and higher. I love you. Uh, I care about doing this every day. I'm glad you comment. Takes me a day or two to get back to you. Sorry, but I'll get there. And uh, till tomorrow, be well, be safe, be blessed and just be loved. Bye.